Merciful God, we thank you for the joys of family and friends this season. Together with the abundance of your blessing, open our hearts and homes to the lonely and destitute that we may be your instrument of love and charity. O come, let us adore you. Yeah. Christ the Lord. Remember we pray, the homeless, the hungry, the oppressed, and all those that are affected now by the COVID-19, even those of our own community, people of our own congregation, protect them, give healing to the sick and the suffering. And those in hospitals especially, Lord, guide the journey of those who travel, comfort those who mourn, create a new and contrite heart in the erring and faith in those who have not heard the good news, O oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. In the birth of your Son, O oh God, you have closed us with eternal life. We remember with thanksgiving all those who have died in the faith. Unite our voices and theirs that we may join the heavenly song of angels of come, let us adore him. Right, Christ Christ Lord. Lord. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray especially for all of those who are absent from us this night. We pray for those who are now homebound or those who are in facilities of care, that you would bless all those who do care for them and that this pandemic would be removed from us, Lord. Of come, let us adore him. All of you may be seated. All of you who have brought offerings um, later on on your, on your way out, there's a place back there you can place them there. A little town of Bethlehem. Cyrenius was governor of Syria. 
and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with his with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished, and she should be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for the man in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night, and and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see the thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And he was made, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they had heard that wondered at those things which were told by the, by the shepherds, but Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told on 